See, I don't even understand. What does that even mean? That's a lie. That's a lie. They caught him in a lie. Ooh. Do you think that he has a crush on her? Have you ever had a sex dream about me? Yes, I have. Okay. You were at the photocopier in the South Melbourne office being <laughs> sexy. You were just photocopying things. Oh, this song is ending. Oh, God. Oh, shit. We're getting coconut mall. Let's go, baby. Perfect thing to start the stream, too. What's up? I'm streaming, baby. It's 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 happening. How's everybody doing today? How's it going? Uh, I'm the great Stony Baloney. Welcome, one and all. We're going to be doing some React content. Uh, right out the gate. All right. So I got a couple here. We're just going to go through a little bit, you know, not too many here. Is that cool with everybody? Is that all right? I'm going to stop the music. You guys get everybody, everybody gets, get some snackies is we're going to play truth or drink. I think this is cool. We might do a little bit more of these, but, uh, yeah, the truth or drink is, uh, with unexpected best friends. Let's see. You can either answer or take a shot. I'm Miguel, um, and this is my best friend, Sandra. We met at work. We used to work at a clothing store together, and we bonded over being very charismatic and crazy. Are these um, all Australians? <laughs> Have you ever called me a bogus what? to someone? Yes, to um, uh, Rebecca. What does a bogan mean to you? A bogan is someone who is from regional areas, uh, rural areas, and um, they probably did not go to uni or their education. Oh my God, they're gonna hate me. But I, I, I don't consider you a bogan at all. Well, I am a little bit. Well, you don't speak like them. Hot probably bogan. because you're educated. Maybe. Yo, Australians have such weird, weird slang. What the fuck? A bogan? Basically, basically, bogans are just like hillbillies, I guess. My understanding of this. What's the grossest thing you've ever done? The, the grossest. grossest. Reaming somebody? <laughs> <laughs> That's not gross. <laughs> See, I don't even understand. What does that even mean? What did he say? Hold on, let's get the fucking closed captions. Grossest thing you've ever done. The, the grossest. Reaming somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. Oh good. man. Okay, I'm gonna hold on. Hold on. We're gonna look at this off stream here. What the fuck does the fuck does reaming mean? Australian. What does reaming and slang to scold? I don't think. I don't think that that's what it is. I can't find it. Gross. <laughs> The Raymond fuck does somebody. that mean? <laughs> is it just gross. fucking? It's probably like a Pick gross. one word to describe rimming. my dating life. Dating. <laughs> is that is that like is that like the rim rim job, that kind of stuff? Rimming you. He ate the ass, bro. He just he just eats at he just eats a little bit of ass. It's fine. What is something I don't understand about you? <sighs> that's that's a hard question. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking of something, but it may not be what you're thinking. What is it? Loneliness is there. It's not having someone. Why it hasn't worked out? Like you're a beautiful woman, very intelligent. That's a choice. Very intelligent. <laughs> oh, so it's Maybe a choice now. It wasn't a choice two years ago when, when we had this conversation. But it, it, like, I think it is a choice. Okay. I haven't tried very hard. Okay. Well, I have, and it hasn't worked out. As I got older. Ooh. Do you think that he has a crush on her? I think Frost so. Stops. What am I a dick about? You like definitely tell me all the time that you think I should be putting myself out there more. Mm -hmm. And you can be very aggressive. You have not lived. And then you have all these worries and shit. And I'm just like, I'm very no. anxious. So no. many things going on. No. And I'm like, no. Aggressive. You just like, I'm very no. anxious. You have so many things going. What does your extra life experience give you that I don't have? I don't think you need to worry about not having a partner. I'm in a point of my life where the only missing thing is not having a partner. But is it missing or did someone tell you to have that list? Don't settle and try to jam someone in there because it yeah. will make life really unhappy and you're better off being by yourself to be quite yeah. honest. 
That's so weird. Yeah, no, he definitely has a crush on her. Definitely has a crush on her. And she just, she just, I don't know. They're, they're, they have a huge age difference. That probably weirds her out. I don't know, man. But she, she's got good points. Yeah, like, why do, why do you need, why do you need to find someone? You're young. He's young. Like, what the fuck, man? Have you ever had a sex dream about me? No. No. That's a lie. That's a lie. They caught him in a lie. They caught him in a lie. <laughs> oh, he answered that way too quickly. No. No, it's definitely not. It's definitely not. You're not my type. Uh-huh. Sure, bud. Sure, bud. Have you ever had a sex dream about me? Yes, I have. Okay. You were at the photocopier in the South Melbourne office being all sexy. <laughs> you were just photocopying things. Pretty raunchy sex dream photocopier. <laughs> what? Damn! Maybe it's happened more than once. Damn, she'd be down. I don't think she's down for like long term, but yeah. Thank you. Oh, my I love you. I love you too. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kiss me. No, you're not ready for it. That her. would be weird. Like I'm so good at that. Okay. <laughs> Kat is doing a truth or drink. Aussies, I love that one though. Welcome everyone. Dreams are coming true. Exact after this experience, they literally are, like got, a, they literally got their hotel room. It's. Nuts. That's the lore. And um, yeah, that's what happened afterwards to the two people who met at work, who the not gay ones, the ones that are secretly in love with each other. They're, they're now truly in love with each other. That's, and that's all we could ever ask for.